What is up, second channel squad? Uh, I guess I'm going to be calling you guys that, the second channel squad, because this is where I'm going to be putting more of like the behind the scenes, what's going on. I just came back from the beach, which explains why. Ooh. If you check, there is so much sand on my back. And if you can't see the sand, then I probably just look, look like an idiot. We just came back from the beach. I got this really big, disgusting pimple on my head. Uh, like I said, life in Bali isn't always that perfect, but is there much really to complain when every single day you get to see beautiful sights, just like this with the sunrise, actually sunset, going down. Beautiful Dima, killing it with the video. And uh, yeah, there's so many things I wanna talk about today. I think the title of today's is Mike Vistil's Secret to Wealth creation I guess I guess it's like a work in training other than that I still have a lot of like stuff in our pool and whatnot Ugh! I've actually been in this pool only like twice most of the times <coughs> I actually just work inside um, it's not as slavish as everyone thinks I literally spend all of my time either at the gym or working or eating or like a combination of all three but anyways there's like so many things that I want to share with you guys today you know this is my second channel so I feel like with you guys you guys are really the smarter ones because you guys want to just hear more of the real information other than like the mainstream approach like for my first channel for the first channel I really have to be very careful with the keywords with the thumbnails and I have to put so much effort just so that I could reach more people and I'm also doing this thing where I'm trying to make like two videos a day just to like attract a whole new audience, right? Because my engagement in the first channel just literally died because I was lazy for the past like two years. So what I've committed to do on the first channel is make two videos every single day. I kid you not, every single day for the past week or so, I've been making two videos a day. And the idea of that is number one, when I put things out, I get to see which thumbnails, which titles get to do the best. Number two, I get like this huge bank of videos that could slowly start ranking on search. And number three, I'm only publishing once a day on the first channel. So ideally I would want to have like a three to six month bank of videos where I don't fall to the same mistake as I did last time where I took like three to six to eight months off and then I got lazy and the engagement went down. I want to prepare for that and maybe go on a three month break, but have like three months worth of videos ready to go so that, you know, the, like the mainstream audience on the first channel just always constantly get some new pieces of content and then I'll throw all the authentic stuff in here. <laughs> Did she swim? She's so dirty. Yeah, she can swim. You're so wet, you better not, you better not shake in front of me. <laughs> But anyways, when it comes to making two videos a day, running Facebook ads for the other core offer that we're promoting, which is like Chris, my mentor's offer, like if you've seen the first channel, uh, it's been kind of like overwhelming. And also, if I'm not very careful, I know that I could really experience burning out, right? I've done it in the past, I've done it multiple times, and, and I wanna share with you guys exactly how I have been preventing myself from burning out, because man, two to three videos a day, and I'm, I'm making videos on this second channel, right? And I'm running Facebook ads, and I'm doing all of these things, and I'm balancing so many things, and I'm also trying to like balance my relationships so that I'm not just like some workaholic. There's a lot of things that I'm currently like juggling right now, and. In any other given moment of my life, I would just drop all the balls and just freak out and just like stop everything and just do nothing, right? Just like freaking out and just escaping. But I think the way that I've been approaching this now has been so much more healthier and I just wanted to share exactly how I was able to figure this out so that if you're on a mission to build something, maybe it could possibly help you out right now. And I think that this is constantly the secret when it comes to wealth. Now. I was just re-listening uh, to a bunch of Napoleon Hill books, and if you haven't listened to Napoleon Hill, like I definitely recommend it. Uh, it's not really the Think and Grow Rich book. It's one of the old books. I don't even know what it, it's called. It's like How to Think or something like that. It's not How to Think and Grow Rich. It's it's some other book, some like really old school book. But he was talking about how creative vision was a concept 
that separates people that are successful from the people that aren't successful. You know how they say like, oh man, like you need imagination to succeed. The problem what they say in the book is everyone has imagination, but very few have what is known as creative vision. To be able to close your eyes and to see some type of vision or future reality that doesn't exist yet right now in the present and to create a strategy that gets you there faster, right? Now to break that down into the concept that I'm really just coming to grasp with right now and to confine it and to simplify it into just pure English, we will become successful based on how big of the questions we will ask for ourselves. The problem with most people is they're just asking themselves, how can I make five grand this month? How can I make 10 grand this month? And because of that, the brain is very interesting. It will give you the answer to exactly how to create that much money for yourself this month. But the thing is, you know, is they were talking about it takes the exact same amount of energy to solve big problems than it does to solve very little problems. And if that's the case, why are so many people asking themselves smaller problems? You know, let me ask, let me uh, give you an example. Around like 2015 or 2012 or 2013 or something, uh, I was drop shipping products on eBay, right? The reason why is because I was asking myself, how can I make an extra $1,000 a month? You know, I was like in college, I want to just have extra money and whatnot. And I just wanted to, you know, help out with the bills or to be able to eat out instead of worrying about saving um, all of the money that I s saved up during summer and to, to not spend it all like during college, right? So I wanted to get into drop shipping. I wanted to figure out a way to make $1,000 a month, right? And because of that, my brain would figure out ways to make that $1,000 a month. But here's the craziest thing. Around that exact same time in that area, there were two people from the UK, British folks, that had the exact same idea. Oh, I want to drop ship products. But instead, they asked themselves a bigger question. They're like, how can we turn this into like, a million dollar, billion dollar brand, right? And that company was Gymshark. Like for, for those that are in the fitness round, you know, like a lot of people that follow this channel, I guess they're into fitness too. I'm very heavily interested in fitness. Sometimes I'm thinking, man, should I be a fitness channel? Because every single time I give people make money online advice, they're just like, man, how'd you get that vein on your bicep? What is that? That vein on your neck, that's disgusting. Who is that? Oh my God. You're so sand team. Uh, I wanted so... to hug you, but guys, there's so much sand. How's your day? Baby, did you have a haircut? Yeah, I did. <laughs> did you see hair on you? <laughs> yeah, I was gonna take a shower. Look at this guy, he doesn't care. He just like works all the time. Oh God. What are you doing? Can I show them your back? <laughs> guys, just look at his back. He probably was laying on the beach. I was just Look looking at up at the sky, just like, what is going like on? There's just like huge pimple. Yeah, you see it? I see. It's a weird one, but I still love you. Yeah, look at that. It's going to explode. Do you want to have dinner together? Yeah. And go out? Yeah. Wow, okay. Wow, she's a filmmaker. Yeah. Anyways, so these two bad. guys Why in UK so created Gymshark, billion dollar brand now off of the exact same idea. They were drop shipping supplements on their website and then out of nowhere they also were selling t-shirts too, right? They were selling t-shirts and I think on one of the podcasts I was looking at, they would actually sell the t-shirts and then they would find like shops in the local area. They would rip off the tagging, they'd put on their own logo and they would kind of like drop ship the t-shirts in the beginning as well. And what initially started off as a drop shipping business turned into a billion dollar business. Craziest thing is, we both started at the exact same time. The only difference was who asked the better question. They did. So this is kind of like my issue and problem with like the making money online space, right? Is it takes away from our creative vision, our creative thinking, because number one, it sets this expectation for you that the most you could make is a thousand dollars a month or ten thousand dollars a month and number two it's giving you a business in a business in a box model that takes away from your creativity that doesn't allow you to actually think people aren't going out there and seeking the answers for themselves and instead they're waiting for some guru or some other person influencer to tell them what to actually do 
But when you really look at some of the great, most successful people in the world, they weren't looking at YouTube videos. They weren't, they weren't copying other people's dropshipping stores, right? They were going out there. They had some crazy purpose. They had some crazy vision. And they had this crazy dream. And they had this also crazy trust and faith in themselves where they feel like that dream could not go wrong for them. And for some reason, with that leap of faith, they were able to create so much amazing wealth in their life, which makes me wonder, why is it? Why is it do we really only think that the only ways to make money are what we see on my first channel? Why is it? You know, there's so much opportunity out there, but the way that the YouTube algorithm is and teaching people how to make money online, it's the, the opportunity that they're literally showing us is very, 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 very small. Which begs the question to, you know, where I see opportunity is and what I'm currently focusing on right now, right? Because like I said, you know, this is my second channel, so most people won't really watch this. This is just kind of like a documentation of me with the thoughts that are currently going on in my mind right now before I go to dinner with my lovely girlfriend and before we pack everything and then I think either move to Georgia, Russia, or Europe, depending on wherever we feel is best. Um, And that is, like I said, every single day, I'm making two videos, every single day. So of course, I see that there's opportunity in influence. I wanna build my audience better the second time around. The first time around was just more so about, you know, just trying to chase clout and views and whatnot. But the second time around, I'm being very more smart with the keyword research, but now I'm kind of like using clickbait to my advantage but then once people click on like, for example, 10 ways to make money as a broke individual, I get to actually yell at them and authentically share my thoughts on exactly what they really need to create wealth for themselves, okay? So that's the first thing. I understand that the biggest opportunity right now will really come from who can garner the most attention right now. I'm trying to think of all different ways to increase attention and it's kind of like a little difficult because you know, there's so many like avenues that I could go to, but I also want to not do it in a way where it just doesn't feel right, where it just feels like one of those making money online videos that you know you don't really like watching. Right? I wanna be able to turn this and evolve this into like a personal growth channel to actually share with you guys that you know there's so much other problems out there that are a lot bigger than money, but we just can't see it when money is a problem. The money part's really easy the moment you realize that all I really need is to put value out there, do more than I'm willing to get paid for, to network and mastermind with right smart people and to solve a bunch of problems. To go the extra mile, that's what they talked about in this book. No one really talks about that in making money online. They're like, oh, you copy and paste this and then you make millions of dollars, you don't have to do anything and you'd still be like a lazy piece of shit. They don't, they don't tell you what it actually takes to become successful, right? So that is like the first opportunity that I see. The, the first one, which is, um, gaining attention through YouTube following and uh, building an audience like that and then I'll probably launch something maybe in January or February like a close-knit live workshop I don't know what your thoughts are about that um, instead of just selling like a regular course which is like a bunch of pre-recorded things I want to start doing like maybe six week workshops where you know I would like come in build up an audience sell them onto some six week boot camp every single week work on their skills and help them out really on a personalized basis as well as just helping them move them along so they're not just lost in like just all the crazy sales like when you know you really scale a course business. Um, but more so I wanna do that to create community, right? So that's like the first opportunity that I'm seeing that I'm focusing on. And I'm focusing that especially in the beginning of my days because that is the most creative part of my, of my mind, right? It's like, okay, I have to show up, Here's this video. I need to really put my entire personality out there. I have to be really funny, entertaining, charismatic. I need to wake myself up. I need to jump in the ice cold in the sauna to really wake up so that I can really just portray these ideas the way it is. And the second thing is uh, leveraging Chris's program, which I'm using to just buy more traffic on Facebook ads and break even and to pay for more emails in which I will email them the videos on YouTube. So that is kind of like the first level of things, right? Uh, to build a new audience, but not like your typical make money online ones. I wanna, I wanna, dude, I want like, 
a tribe of savages, right? To be able to meet up, to travel around the world, to do like workshops and retreats and maybe like do Bali retreats or in Spain or something. I don't know, man. Like I think that the future of success and wealth is really in like the communities that we create. And right now I don't really see like a good YouTube community for people that want to actually live a life where they're not constrained by their country, their race, their gender, or like whatever opportunity is out there. I want to, I want to, create something where like people from all around the world from so many different businesses not just drop shippers or affiliate marketers or or influencers like literally so many different businesses come and learn like the secret wealth hacks of some of the most successful people in the world the ones that I've been meeting while traveling like this is the things that are like so much more exciting to me and I'm my biggest hardship right now is I'm trying to figure out how to bridge the gap from this make money online personal finance oh let me tell you the 10 steps to make money as a broke individual type of videos to this like epic community of online entrepreneurs that are traveling the world doing awesome things that are collaborating that are meeting up that are working together that are doing business connections and business partnerships together and I'm trying to figure out how to bridge the gap and I guess this channel and this second part of the channel is really just gonna be documenting me in that process I kind of have an idea of it right the first step may be do start doing two videos a day on the first channel and just send them over to the second channel and then here I'll just start telling them exactly what it takes to succeed the no BS way not worrying about SEO not worrying about AdSense not worrying about selling anything the first one is just more for mainstream but then I want to move everyone to the second channel to really start building the strong community and I don't know maybe when I go to Europe to so start doing like maybe workshops around Europe right like I remember I did a bunch of workshops like to fix my dating right when I wanted to learn how to get better at my self-confidence I remember attending all of these like live boot camps and workshops around the world from like Vegas to Miami to Portugal to San Francisco to Chicago to Texas to anywhere in the world like people would host these workshops and we would just meet up together and we would just focus on our dating and our char charisma and our self-confidence and our ability to handle social interactions and that was really good with dating and my my charisma part of my life and it really shaped who I was as a person right but I want to do something like that in terms of like the business entrepreneurship world right now though I just don't think I have all the answers but how I've been making the answers based on earlier on the conversation was journaling these questions that are a lot bigger than what I'm normally used to asking myself Remember what I was talking about with like Gymshark versus me dropshipping on eBay? Both were the exact same business model. One asked a bigger question. And one thing that I've been doing every single morning, and I guess even on this documenting on the second channel, is asking myself the question, how can I make this happen? And allowing my brain to kind of figure out the answers either when I'm awake and I'm actually journaling about it and writing it down, or when I'm asleep and allowing my subconscious mind to just process it. Uh, but that's like the biggest thing, right? It's like you get out of life to the extent of how big of a question you're willing to ask for yourself. And I'm really curious, what is the question that you're asking yourself? How can I make $100 a day? How can I make $1,000 a day? How can I make $10,000 a day? How can I make $100,000 a day? Let me, let me just point you in a very interesting position, right? Especially after this. $10,000 a day, $100,000 a day. That sounds ridiculous. But just try it. Just try this. Get out a piece of paper, especially after this, and comment below if you've done this or not. Get out a piece of paper and write down this question. How can I make X amount of dollars in the next 12 months? And then once you have that number, I want you to 10X whatever number that you did. Okay, so how can I make 10, 10X of this income number in the next 12 months? Journal a bunch about that, right? Actually, don't do that. The first step is just being aware of that 10x number. The second step is answer the question, how would somebody else hit that? Don't talk about yourself. Because the moment you talk about yourself, you're like, oh man, well, I have all these beliefs and I'm, I'm afraid and I don't know if this is going to happen or that's going to happen. And we're worried. So always answer the question as if you're helping somebody else. Like, Do you ever realize that sometimes when you give advice to someone else, it's like so easy and then you realize, wow, this is the advice that I actually have to take for myself. It happens to me all the time. I give someone else advice, but then I realize the advice I give out is actually the advice I need to take.
but it's because whenever I have to give myself advice, there's this limiting beliefs and stories that I have been preconditioned in the back of my mind ever since I was a kid um, telling me why I shouldn't be able to do that. Which is why when you ask yourself the second question, you want to solve it for somebody else. Okay, so how can this person hit this in the next couple months? For me, I started answering questions. I need to post maybe two times a day on my first channel. I need to leverage uh, Facebook ads and acquire them from cold traffic so they're not just dependent on YouTube traffic. Um, I need to be authentic. I can't be this like BS thing where I'm just doing these tutorials and not actually putting who my personality is straightforward because I only attract who I actually portray who I am on social media, right? So if I want like a bunch of badasses, I need to portray the badassery side of me instead of like, hey guys, let me tell you how to make some money online. Yeah, personal finance. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And number three, the question is asking myself, what's stopping me from actually doing this plan that I did for somebody else? I kid you not, you do that right now, tonight, it will completely start changing the trajectory of your thoughts. And then you'll start realizing, is this even the business idea that I want to do? Is this even the business idea that I want to do? Is this thing that I'm working so hard for? Imagine this, me and dropshipping. I I put so much time and effort in it. Like sometimes 8 to 16 hours a day to get it up and running. If I would have just journaled in that moment of my time, this concept, I could have created something even bigger, right? I could have done something similar like what Gymshark did. But I wasn't because no one ever told me to start asking bigger questions for myself. And I want this to be the video for you that I wish I had when I was younger to start asking these bigger questions, guys. So hopefully this helps. Let me know what your thoughts. Comment below. Uh, much love. And I'll see you guys later.